Let's practice finding the inverse for a 2x2 two two matrix. We only can do the 2x2 two two matrix by hand. Everything else requires technology. So here we have our matrix A with the elements negative 1, 0, 8, and negative 2. The questions are, does A inverse exist? And if it does, we need to find it. The first thing we need to remember is the pattern that our elements are laid out in. Notice where the A, B, C, and D fall. That's very important. And we're going to check AD minus BC. In other words, we're going to multiply on the diagonals AD and BC and subtract those products. So we want to do negative 1 multiplied by negative 2 minus 0 multiplied by 8. That's going to give me 2 minus 0, which is 2. Is 2 equal to 0? No, it is not. That means that A inverse exists. Well, now we have to find it. In order to find A inverse, remember what we have to do. Just go back to your original matrix, and the first thing we're going to do is create a scalar of 1 over our AD minus BC value. Again, our AD minus BC was 2, and 1 over 2 is 1 half. So the first thing is, we know to find A inverse, we're going to scale by one half. Now, on this original matrix for A, we're going to take the A and the D values, these two on the diagonal, and they're just going to trade places. These two, the B and the C value, have to change sign. Well, zero is neutral, so that doesn't matter, but a positive 8 will become a negative 8. So the problem that we need to do to find A inverse is take 1 over our AD minus BC value, which again was 2, so we have the fraction 1 half. I swapped places of the A and the D values, and I negated my 8 because it was positive. Remember, 0 doesn't have a sign. Last thing you do now is scale each of the four elements, and you'll have A inverse. Therefore, A inverse is negative 1, 0, negative 4, negative 1 half. 